Okay, so it's on again. It's electricity, power management, and anything that has to do with electricity. So today, um, this is a selfie video that I'm doing, and I'm doing this video to address a very critical subject or topic in Ghana. I'm talking about Ghana, Africa. I'm not talking about any advanced country. Ghana is rated as a third world country. So I'm talking about Ghana. How are countries developed? Is it true um, office jobs? Is it true administration jobs? Or is it true, okay, let's say, is it true white colored job? Okay, so uh, the, the, the thing is, uh, we know how we, we have, we have done uh, various research. Uh, we know how countries started or how countries were developed. Countries were developed through skills, through, uh, uh, through people with, yeah, with skills, real skills, technical, vocational skills. We are not saying that uh, a white collar job is, is not good, but we are talking about a third world country a country that is developing. Ghana is a developing country. So who are the people? Who are the professionals? Who are the, uh, the, the, the people that we really need now? Our friend, we need skilled people. Yes, we need... Um, uh, people who will do administrative jobs, we need people who will be nurses, doctors, teachers, very, 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 very important teachers. Uh -huh. And uh, we need uh, engineers, we need, uh, we need a whole lot of people, but the most critical people that the government of this country or the governments of every civilized country will focus on is vocational and technical skilled individuals or people. When your power is out, it's a different thing. When you flush in your toilet and it's not going through, it's a different thing. When... Uh, your your roofing is leaking you will understand these things that i am talking about today and so in ghana the the the, the trend i've seen a trend now everyone is saying go to school go to school go to school yeah it, it's very good i i i i believe in education non-necessary school i believe in education because education gives you the knowledge to put it to use, you know. So I believe in education. And I believe that uh, every human being should or must be educated so that they will know how to go around life. Because without education, life becomes something else. Talk about the... Uh, ignorance, talk about le, 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 when you are not educated, you lack knowledge. Yes, you lack knowledge. And we, we all know that knowledge is power. Okay, so today I, I will not talk about the trend per se, but let me talk about this. So let's say you are out of senior high school, you don't know what to do, Yes, the, the 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 usual trend that every high school or senior high school leaver will follow is to pursue a higher education. That's not bad, but you need to also study your environment, study the environment, the country that you come from. This uh, crying out loud, it's it's a third world country. It's a developing country. That doesn't need more uh, white colored job. No, Ghana doesn't need more white colored job. We need more skilled, vocational, technical, skilled men or women to drive this country, to develop this country, 
to contribute to, to the developing of this country. And so if you are listening to me or you are you are watching me today after high school, these are the I think I will list few things that you need to focus on. The first thing is um is uh it has to do with construction or your yeah, construction industry and some of these uh, skills are electrical plumbing hvac technician that is those who work on refrigeration and uh, air conditioning and stuff like that you know i am an electrician but i'm considering uh learning hvac i'm i'm i'm, I'm considering learning air conditioning refrigeration uh installation and maintenance because now almost every home when you go when you, when you go to even slums there are air conditioners there are refrigerators there so uh some some few years to come there's going to be a need for these professionals so i'm saying electrical hvac those who service or who install refrigeration and uh, air conditioners and stuff like that. Uh, plumbing, carpentry, painters, um, interior or exterior uh, decorators, um, masons, yes, masons, when they don't put up the building. Even electricians, plumbers, we can't go there to work. So masons, very critical. Or masonry. Masonry. And so, and one more thing, carpentry. So these are the things that I will talk about. Or these are the things, skills, that after senior high school, you need to focus on. Okay, one more thing. Because we will, we will eat and we will uh, wear clothes. It's very important that we add uh, fashion designers or those who want to learn uh, the art of sewing or the art of sewing dresses. Uh -huh. So we will add uh, a seamstress or a fashion designer and we will add people who will focus on cooking or people who will focus on the agri sector that is uh, uh, food production or crop production and stuff like that these are the critical skills that i believe and upon various research and uh, investigation i believe these are the skills that the governments actually must uh, if they are going to IMF, I believe that money should be invested in people who are willing to learn this trade. They don't need to spend that money on uh, any other thing. They should invest this money on these skilled individuals because these are the people who are going to contribute to the developing or contribute to develop this developing or third world country Ghana. and as I'm, I'm 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 saying we need people who work in the office we have many thousands 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 of them most of them don't have jobs now so they are they are actually even diverting into other areas so if you are out of out of school and also one of the most or critical things nowadays you don't need uh, to go to high school or senior high school and study general art who does that the jobs are changing yes yeah, so if you are out of high school another thing Another white collar job or white collar thing, I will inform you about it. It's a, it's a IT related skill uh, that is computer programming 
for anything that has to do with computer and another thing is um is uh, engineering because for engineering jobs they will always be there <laughs> who needs a general arts and when you go to the senior high schools most of the people are studying general arts general arts you want to be a journalist or what i'm not saying that we don't need them but the the thing is most people are going to study these things and it will affect it will come back to to buy them because when you have more people doing the same thing it actually comes to what we we call you become cheap because when people look around they can easily get uh search people around so they kind of become cheap or they will pay whatever amount they see fit so getting out of high school let's go it over again get yourself these skills electrical plumbing hvac that is those who install and service refrigeration and air conditioning and heating stuffs mm -hmm. and uh, you, you 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 can enroll in uh, masonry uh, painting carpentry um i think plumbing if i've not mentioned it um fashion designing or sewing agriculture related skills um computer related skills engineering related skills and let me add this uh probably medical related or medicine related uh staffs because even though you might not be very important here in ghana medical related skills are very much more important and needed in advanced countries all these staffs that i have mentioned they are gold in advanced countries let's say us uk canada australia and these places these these skills that i have i've, I've mentioned they are cool and when you when you when, when you find yourself in these countries you make very good money and so i thought this uh a very uh thoughtful thing that i need to share with you and uh to my subscribers i thank you so much for each and every day taking uh some of your time you i know you have busy schedules but taking some of your time to come to my page my youtube page or channel motor skilled electrician to come and watch my videos and so thank you so much once again and please don't forget if you are uh watching my video and you are not yet a subscriber please click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon and select all so that you receive notification for subsequent videos and if you are an already uh, a subscriber please click on the like it doesn't cost anything to click on the like if at least there is one word in this video that is uh important or that is a critical um word okay so i'll see you once again i'll come your way very soon with an electrical video and i hope you enjoy your day bye for now